Ten? What? You almost at ten? Or? Okay. Okay. How we doing? We're here live at uh, Boardroom International. We've got a great uh, lesson going down with Ian. He's the lucky uh, winner of our Foamy Z uh, contest. So basically Ian's uh, soft sanding the rails, finish sanding the rails of a little 5'9 shortboard uh, that he'll be going home with, which is pretty cool. And uh, we just got done finishing up the rail, and now what we're going to do is uh, segue into our soft pad right here, Foamy Z soft pad with uh, 120 grit. So, yeah. We'll go ahead and soft screen the bottom a little bit. I'll do one half, Ian will do the other. And I'm just going to take out any of the scratches that are still existing from our previous grits. I'll just go long, fluid motions, trying to recreate the way water would move along the board. But keep in mind, we do have our, uh, our, conca our concave in here that we don't want to alter too much. So just a couple of easy strokes just to clean up all those uh, previous grits. Looks good. And now what we'll do is just clean up the stringer a little bit with our uh, baby block shear for, or block plane. And um, have you ever used one of these before? Okay, we're going to start at the middle and we'll, we'll plane down. You put your index finger right on the base here and you just use your other three fingers and thumb to push down. So you want to cut at a 45 degree angle so that the block plane finds something level to sit on. And we'll just go nice and easy. And then I'm going to support the tail right here as they come off. Just like that. So why don't you go ahead and push all the way down toward the nose. Keep in mind, you don't want to push down too hard on the nose. There you go. Perfect. Not bad for your first time. Good job, Ian. All right, now we are ready to uh, do a little finish sanding on the deck here. Same thing as the bottom, we're just gonna soft pad that baby. So. looking for any kind of scratches or uh, rough marks that the previous grits made and just take those all nice, take them down nice and clean with the 120 here. So that looks pretty good, looks pretty smooth. Why don't you do the same on this side? This little edge a little bit too. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just gonna take down a couple of the little edges here. Talk it up more. Yeah. Okay. okay, folks. So now what we're gonna do is get our. Uh, 220 grid out, and we're gonna finish screen our, uh, our rails, and uh, basically take it down to the finished product just about, do a little fine tuning. And again, we're gonna um, hold the screen in a specific way so that we don't get any marks on the deck or on the, the bottom of the blank. So we'll use our thumbs and just kinda hold, hold the screen out like this. And we'll just retrace those other three, three movements that we did, but now with a, a higher grade grit, smoother, smoother screen. So you want to count your strokes. In my head, I'm counting as I go back and forth. I did four passes there. And now what we're going to do is hand it over to you and let you take care of that side. 
So just from nose to tail, using the 220 grit, just attacking this edge right here. There you go, all the way back. Good pressure on there. You want to try and stay more on the top part of the rail. There you go. So as you're pulling this way, go ahead. Just want to stay right on, right on track right there. Good job. And then all the way back. Okay, so now we're gonna take that 220 and we'll reinforce our tucked under edge. And we'll put the board flat up on the rack like this so we can get a good view of what's happening. See the lighting with the side lights here. And um, we'll switch sides for a sec. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just take that 220, stretch it out, and we're gonna wrap, wrap the 220 to fit the contour of the rail. We don't wanna knock down our hard edge back here. So we'll hold it straight up flat and tuck it back right around for that wrap. And we'll just kind of cherry out our nose there a little bit. And we'll do two more. Okay. Shift this over here for you. And go ahead, start from nose to tail. And remember to watch out for your tucked under edge. Luckily, this 5.9 will be a really good, good size for you. Exactly. Yeah, pretty, pretty stoked that worked out. There you go. Okay, and then, then what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna get that last that last line out that we created by doing a, the top edge and the tucked under edge. We'll go ahead and just soften out the middle part of the board. At this time too, I'll use the 20, the 220, just to take out any kind of hard edges up here in the nose. Just kind of lightly, lightly screen that, just nice and soft. So, so here at the uh, Boardroom International, there's a lot of great things to see. Pretty amazing over here. All kinds of uh, great booths, uh, great vendors, uh, a lot of great people walking around. A lot of, a lot of killer surfers. And uh, pretty good opportunity to, to not only learn about shaping, but uh, meet a lot of great shapers and also to see a lot of the uh, progressive shapes, old school shapes. Yeah, I know, I know, but I can't Okay, here you go, brother. Last one. We're going to go right on the center rail here. Am I rolling off at the end then? Just, um, yeah, be careful of that tucked under edge. You can wrap, wrap the screen as you're going, but just be careful of that back edge. So wrap it completely around over here, and then as you go off of there, lift off of that bottom edge. All right. So I'm sure you're going to be back here tomorrow for the, the rest of the event, yeah? Yeah. Check out that demo in the morning. Right on. Have you been doing any of the skating over here? Uh, yeah, I'll be skating tomorrow. I know. I wish I brought my board. There's a pretty killer, killer half pipe out there. All right. So when we came, when we came off of that edge right there, we did... Uh, we're just gonna finish that up, kinda. Okay. And we're gonna use our uh, Foamy Z sanding pad here. It's got our 40 grit. And we're just gonna knock down the edge just a little bit. Like I said before, these, these pads are killer. They're available at Foamy Z and they have a, um, a grit that you can pull off. 40 grit, you can put on 80 grit, you can put on 120. Uh, it's pretty much one of the, the better things I've seen in a while. Uh, just makes shaping so easy. 
I would just knock down the edge on that. Pretty much, pretty much all done. Okay. Well, looks like we pretty much finished up our uh, board here. We're gonna um, take a break. Uh, thanks for watching. up with uh, one of my brother's buddy Kalani and, um, and he had the 710 Dick Brewer and um, it, it was killer it's like I haven't ridden one of those boards so he let me borrow it and when you get it good it had a drop of water is out of place and you take off easy pull in get a barrel come out do a couple snaps um, cut out. yeah it's just having fun and trying to get as many waves as possible <laughs>